Hi there, it's Ray from TropicalRareSeeds.com, one of the eBay sellers here in Africa. I'm just going to give you a quick garden update. It's February the 4th, uh, 2013. You can see the gardens come on here quite nice. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to explain some of the plants that I have in here, which are some of the ones we have on eBay, which I've grown from seed myself. Uh, some of you who might have seen some of my other videos will have known that the garden's been quite bare. Uh, this is the one that we have the white powder puff plant and that's about six months worth of growth you can see that one's going to fill up very nicely and cover the wall as well we've got the conocarpus in there some that's the ipomea tree just a smaller one hopefully that one will get quite large i've got a larger one that i'm going to show you as well and eucalyptus just to fill up the wall. I know that one's going to grow quick and we're going to have to keep that one pruned. Uh, soil normally is very sandy soil but I've been conditioning this with various uh, leaf litter which I found around. You can see there's some of the Bougainvillea flowers and various things in there so I'm trying to create like a, a compost type lasagna. I'm going to take you over here. Again one of the white powder puff trees. That one's going to stabilize the soil, add a bit of nitrogen. And I've got a jasmine up there, which is going to climb along those wires. It's not a big garden, but it's a nice garden. Probably not as nice as some of the gardens that you people have in America or USA. But it's fairly difficult gardening conditions. Again, there's the conocarpus. White powder puff. You probably think I'm quite obsessed with that one. And we've got the white, the sweet pea bush in there as well, which has grown very, very quick. And that should hopefully get some yellow flowers on it fairly soon, maybe in a couple months time. And again, you're going to laugh, the white powder puff tree. So you can see the garden here, that part of the garden actually has shade. And as it gets more sunny, the plants seem to get a lot larger as well. This one down here is a bit of a mystery to me. It's some form of Morandia species and normally gets white flowers so I'll keep you posted on that one and just a smaller rondo denox uh, sort of like a bamboo type plant that'll probably get invasive and take over taking you over to this here this is the morning glory bush of morning glory tree you can see how tall it's gotten I should have actually kept it pruned back it is easily about 12 foot tall very very big Hopefully that should provide a bit of privacy, a bit of shade as well. And here's the Morandia species, the mystery one, which I have no idea what species it is. Found it growing. It climbs up as well. And it's covered nicely. Palm tree in there. That one isn't from sea. That's one that was growing there initially. The peach thevetia, my favorite one. No flowers on it yet. And the Algoria nervosa in the corner there not looking very good the cats had a bit of a go at that one and you can see that's the soil there this one doesn't have any leaf litter on it but you can see it's been very much enriched and i've been using uh manure urine various things to to get it going and the ipomea carica and the meramea tuberosa in there And right in here, you'll find there's a large acacia type species. And an alocasia, what's sort of like a taro yam. I got that one from the market, <clears throat> had put it in and had come quite nice. And there's a, a eucalyptus, the thevetia. This one here is amazing, which is the conocarpus. It was a stump, we cut it back, that is about six months growth, absolutely phenomenal. And it's going to provide quite a bit of greenery. And this here, this is quite fascinating, this is our water system. We're not as fortunate as people in the UK or in Europe in that we can turn on our tap and get water straight away. What we have to do is, it's about 10,000 litres in there, and it comes from a line and when the water goes in, it goes through the meter there. And water runs normally about three times a week, which is enough for our family usage there. And if there's a water shortage, we've actually got a pipe 
as well with trucks can bring in desalinated water and that actually goes into reverse osmosis so that's hopefully something a bit interesting there for you just quickly take you through the garden it's not very big and this here this was Christmas past it's I believe like a, a New Zealand type pine tree I forgot the name I believe Norfolk pine which I've got in a pot with a couple of ponsettias we had some lights on there which is very nice and hopefully that will green up a bit and the branches will strengthen up and putting some orange peels in as compost just to keep the soil slightly acidic this one a bit boring I don't know what's happening if it's dying or if it's living it's one of the alacaceas and I believe there's a datra growing in the pot itself so we'll just take you up the stairs so you can have a look at what everything looks like it's green not very colorful have to admit that this isn't the garden obviously where we collect seed from from our ebay shop when we get seed normally we get that out and about and whatever i have surplus i just put in the garden itself it's just proof we do provide the freshest seed and we got the wires up here as well there's like a, a Ipomea species which is like a, the railway vine growing some of the leaves have fallen off but what I hope to do is try and put some legumous type species or the um, Balhenias which we feature as well there we go I'm going to keep you updated on this as the season progresses just a bit of insight behind the scenes I wish I had a larger garden, it's not possible, so I have to enjoy the plants which are outside the garden. But my main goal on this one is to get this all greened in and get it growing up the wall. So hopefully I can have a bit of a, a jungle type effect. Okay, that's it for today, and I hope you enjoy that.